Good morning guys, good afternoon and good day and good night, whatever time of the day, wherever you are, I hope you're having a wonderful time. Welcome to Elaine's Kitchen where I'm going to share with you many of my amazing, my amazing recipes. I will be catering for vegetarian everybody, just about everybody I will be catering for. Today I'm going to do some cow foot. I'm going to do some cow foot today with broad bean. This is my broad bean. And the, I have some scallion here. I have some season to the bone here. I have all purpose seasoning here. I have my crushed fermenter seed here. And I have my Cajun seasoning here. I have my browning. My browning is here. I have my black pepper. I have my browning. I have some black pepper. I have some garlic powder. On I have some garlic powder and I have some onion powder. So we are going to go right ahead and season our cow food. So I'm going to throw all of the seasoning here. I'm not going to use any salt, guys, because some of these seasons have a lot of salt in it. My fresh pimento. Sprinkle some garlic. Sprinkle some onion powder. I have some green seasoning here. Some homemade green seasoning, I'm going to add a tablespoon and a half. I'm going to pour some brown in. Oh my god, not too much brown in. Guys, be careful. And I'm adding all my chop seasoning here. My hands have already cleaned, so I'm going to get in and rub in all the seasoning. All the seasoning. Wow, it's like it's dark. Oh my word. I just have to look careful the growing. Get away from me a while ago. Sure that all of your meat have some seasoning on it. And you know cow food cannot soak just like you cannot put cow food to marinate because it's only bone. So you just season and it can go on right away. And guys remember to clean up your cow food properly. The fat inside the bone here it always have a big piece of fat. Fat always right in here so you get rid of it. And this cow food was washed in vinegar and some warm water. Taste for salt, no more the taste. Guys, I'm not going to add any salt to this. Guys, I'm going to add a little butter to the pot. The pot is already eating. in a spoon. So I'm going to add a little butter, don't use oil because the cow food have already been a lot of fat. I'm adding too much butter. And I'm going to infuse some thyme, some crushed garlic and a little piece of cut pepper. Scotch bonnet. Just infuse this in it. Because I'm going to have the cow put right away. 
can season and add to the pot or you can just add it to the pot and season it from there because guys cold food does not spare bone so it don't have anything it cannot be marinated like the chicken so your chicken so you just can go ahead and put it in your pot and then just build up your flavor when it's finished cooked you can just add your add more seasoning if it's so desired so i'm having the cow foot brown in the black it gets away you guys have to be careful with the brown in the pot was already eating over there so i just had the butter to infuse the all of the seasoning to infuse the garlic and the thyme and the pepper not for them to burn to go over to the pot this is what it looks like in the pot guys and i'm not going to add any water as yet i'm going to cover it a little to see if it can spring some water I'm going to cover it a little bit back our broad bean over here I cook I cook this broad bean ahead of time here I have two and a half cups of rice two and a half cups of rice I have here this is the rice pot I had some garlic to it Guys, you can flavor your rice when you are cooking it. Garlic, as garlic helps to tenderize our meat. Garlic helps us tenderize our meat, so I'm going to add some more garlic. Don't forget to add a piece of ginger, so I'm going to take off the ginger and add to it. I'm going to now add some boiling water, which I've already boiled to the pot. Side. Guys, when you're cooking cold food, you can either season it or put it in the pot and you add your little seasoning to it or you season it in a bowl. I'm going to add a little mushroom sauce. Don't want it too dark, but we Jamaicans don't like dark meat. Don't like our meat when it's white. cook a lot of rice because I don't know who's going to eat it. <laughs> ah, we don't have a big family in this house. Like to wash our rice until it's clean until the water. Oh. We'll pour our rice for a pot now, guys. 
and this water what is in the pot I had two and a half full teacups. We are going to now stir our rice and we are going to taste for salt. Going to taste for salt. To see if it needs anything else. Yes, guys, it needs a little more salt. You guys, always remember to cut back on your salt. As when the food is too salt, you can't enjoy it. Remember to cut back on your salt. Food is too salt, we just kind of enjoy it. I'm going to cover my rest. Turn it down when it started to go. Okay, guys, I'm back. Return camera a while ago to do some washing up. So now, oh, let us go to the rice pot to see what's happening in our rice pot over here. Rice is here steaming. And guys, I don't like my rice. I don't like chili rice. So you can cook your rice the way you like it. My rice is there steaming. And our cow foot is there pressuring. Guys, the cow foot looks very tough. So we are going to do some veg. There I have some veg. I've already cut them up ahead of time. So I'm just going to leave back this to demonstrate to show you guys. I have already cut up these ahead of time. I'm going to steam them down. So I just leave back these to show you how I cut them. It's in two pieces. That's the string bean. That's my carrot. So I do like this. Like that. So I'm going to steam up these. I'm going to add a little butter. A vegetable, Maggie Boolean. And I'm going to add some oregano. I just went to the fridge to take out the oregano. This is the rice, guys. I'm going to taste it to see if it's finished steaming. Guys, I don't like chili rice. You don't eat chili rice in this house. So you can cook yours according to how you like it. Okay. This can turn off now. I'm going to add the garlic here. Guys, let me turn off the wrong fire. The wrong fire. It should, should, be, should be the right spot and I turn off the arm. Um, turn off this spot. This is all I want in here. Just the butter and the garlic. So now we are going to add our veg to this. And we're going to give it a stir. Guys, the pork foot is pressure in a way. Pressure cooker was giving a little problem off camera. I've never experienced this. I'm adding bouillon to my vegetable. I'm not going to add no salt. This is the Maggi Bullion. I'm just going to crush it up right over the pot, guys. Right over. And we're going to give a quick stir. Add some of my oregano. Just a pinch. 
fish, not much. Just use your finger and just take up a pinch and you add it to it. Now we are going to add some water. So we want because we want our vegetables to steam. And here I have some boiling water. So just to add a little. In this bad boy here. Good. So we're going to cover our pot and leave our vegetable to take its time and do its own thing. Vegetable now can turn off. It's finished cook guys. Vegetable is finished. I'm going to turn off the fire. It was done on low flame. Take off the pressure cooker and I've already cooled it down. I've already cooled it down. So we're going to check out to see if our meat is cooked. Okay, so I need this Guys, see it here. It's how tender it is, guys. See there, the fog go right through. See there. So I'm going to add it. I'm going to take it from the pressure cooker. I'm going to add in my seasoning now to my pot, right over here. We're going to season up now. This bone drop. We're going to flavor up our pot now, guys. I had a bay leaf. I take it out at the latter end. So, guys, we are back, and I'm now going to add my beans. Guys, I had I had a little more ketchup off camera, and I had some pimento berries. I had a pinch of salt off camera so now we are going to add our beans we're going to add our beans guys we are adding our beans and this bean was cooked ahead of time i don't like to use a tin bean i prefer to use this one you can get it by the pound whether you want a pound or whatever you can get it so we just want the bean to absorb some of these some of this gravy or juice whatever you might call it we don't want them to mash and guys you cannot put these beans to pressure or else you won't get anything from it Look at it guys, look how it looks pretty. Look how our cow food looks so pretty and tastes just the same as it. It's looking pretty and the taste is up. Taste is on point. And remember I said I had a little more, I had a little salt and I had some ketchup and I had some fermenter berries so I'm just going to allow this to cook down a little more I had a pepper also here's my pepper yellow pepper right there so we're going to cover up now and this is what this is what it looks like after adding the beans I just want to show you the consistency of the gravy So we are going to plate now guys we are going to plate look at the gravy beans are still standing we are going to plate now guys i'm going to turn off the fire
Have you like your eyes shade? You can go ahead and do your shade eyes. But I just don't like it. Plating time, guys. Plating time. Plating time. Your cow foot is still, the flesh is still adding to the bone. Guys, think like it's stick. Some of the flesh, fleshy part. Flesh separated from bone. But guys, it doesn't. Guys, that's the finishing dish of our cow foot and bean and our steamed veg. We steam it down in a little piece of garlic along with some butter and we had some oregano. So this is the dish and I present it to you. Enjoy it. Enjoy it guys. Enjoy the dish. Thanks for watching guys, thanks for coming along with me today, don't forget to give thanks in everything, remember to give God thanks, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, so guys I'm going to taste for you, I'm going to taste right here, and tell. Mmm. Alright guys, you first should get a bite. This is pizza for a seasoning here guys. Mmm. Thank you Lord. Bless our food. In Jesus name. Amen. I forget to bless the food. Yes, guys, taste. Mmm. Mm -hmm. Very soft. So I'm going to taste some of the rice, no, with the beans, and some gravy. Mm -hmm. Guys, I'm tasting for you. You're tasting also. Right, we'll come to our veg. Okay, guys, take a bite. Mm. Vegetable is not overcooked because we want that that crispy bite from the vegetable. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for participating today in this video. Mmm, I tell you, so good.